Hurricane Alex already starting to take its toll on the South Texas coastline. High winds and heavy rain pounding that area right now, and those outer bands have made their way here into Central Texas. Jim Spencer in the First Morning Weather Center with the latest. Jim. Well, the hurricane is a strong Category 1 right now, and it is bearing down on the northeast coast of Mexico. It appears the center of the hurricane, uh, the outer eye wall, will make landfall about 70 miles south of Brownsville, uh, here sometime in the next three to four hours or so. Let's go to Viper radar, and you can actually see on Viper uh, the eye of the storm as it approaches that northeast coastal area of Mexico. But those outer bands surrounding that eye wall have been spinning up one tornado after another down in the valley. I don't think I've ever seen so many tornado warnings just continuously uh, issued for the same county as I have this afternoon for Cameron County up there north of Brownsville. Several tornado warnings for the Harlingen Airport area today. We have reports of flooding now uh, near the Brownsville Zoo and the Brownsville Children's Museum also reporting to be uh, flooded at this hour as extremely torrential tropical downpours associated with that hurricane continue to move there into the lower Rio Grande Valley. And in our area, you can see those outer bands from the hurricane have been bringing areas of rain and a few thunderstorms to our local area this afternoon. We have them scattered from the hill country now to the coastal plains. It looks like just a brief lull here in Austin at this hour. But I do mean a lull. We have more rainfall in your first warning forecast, and it's coming up.